again. In this video I'm going to show you how I did my makeup for this photo shoot. It was in the nature so I used very natural colors. To start with I bronzed my face with Saint Tropez Tanning Lotion. And then I primed my face. I always use pore fillers around my nose and under my eyes. And in this case I'm putting the concealer first because in the photo shoot it can be very bright. So I prefer to put my foundation over it. This is by far the best foundation that I ever tried. Unfortunately, we cannot get it here in Iceland, so I had to order it online, but it was so worth it. For a photo shoot, you always have to put a little bit extra of your makeup because in the photos you won't see it that much. So make everything more. And I'm using the NYX foundation in the dark tan to contour my face. Then I'm using this NYX Born to Glow to highlight. It's very beautiful, like bronzing color. Then I'm using the Reflex cover from Makeup Store and I'm putting it on all the highlighted areas. And then I'm also putting it around my lips. It's a technique to make your lips appear bigger. I'm setting it with this powder from MAC. And then I'm using this NYX Highland and Contour Kit to put some extra contour. I really like this color, it's very natural. And again, I'm putting a lot of it because this is a photo shoot. Normally, I wouldn't put this much. <laughs> it can be quite funny when people see me right before the photo shoot. They think like, wow, she has a lot of makeup on. But then, when you see the photos, you would know... You would know why. You don't see the makeup that much. Everything has to be a lot more than usual. Blending is probably the most important thing about makeup, it's all about the blending and you could basically use what kind of brush you want for this. Then I use the Smashbox loose powder to set everything.
this is my one and only <laughs> favorite bronzer. I love this one. I use it almost every time. And for blushes, I'm using these two orange toned matte colors from Inglot. They are very, very pigmented, so be careful when you put them on. They are the perfect colors for summer look. Very peachy. And I use the lighter one all around my cheekbone. And the darker one I put only on the apples of my cheeks. And then for extra highlights, I use the Bath Naked palette from NYX. It's also one of my favorite highlights. This palette is must have, everyone should have it. And then moving on to the eyes. First thing you do is prime the eyes of course. Because I'm going for the summer look, I use peach color of course. And I'm applying this color above my crease and I'm blending it outwards. Then I'm using the same color I used for contouring and I'm applying it in the outer V and all over my eyelids but I don't want to completely cover my eyelid with it to be very light on the top and darker in the crease and the corners so it will make this natural looking shadow Applying the same color under my eye as well. You can use what what kind of smaller brush for this. And then I am adding the eyeliner in my waterline. I kind of regret putting this liner because I should have just put this ink blot liquid liner in my waterline it would have kept the look um, complete the whole time but after a few hours the liner was kind of smudged away and just not pretty so I recommend just using the liquid liner under your eyes as well and in the waterline I skipped filming my eyelashes because recently I did a video of how to put eyelashes and how to do your eyebrows. So if you want to watch this video just click on the upper corner and you will be directly linked to that video. This is the final touch to this look so if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye!